Hey y'all, getting a late start here Sunday. Happy Sunday y'all. Just watched a funky NASCAR race, that sucked. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, chicken and dressing casserole. I've been doing, uh, I, uh, I had this a little over a month ago for the first time and I've made it a couple of times since then. We was up at uh, Greg McCutcheon's a couple of weeks ago and him and Bologna Ring Ranch, they put it together for me. Uh, something I just keep playing with. I don't know. I just keep playing with this and uh, I'm going to do another version tonight. So what I got here is a, a pound and a half of chicken uh, breast, boneless chicken breast, pound and a half, can of cream of celery soup, two cans of cream of chicken, I'm going to need some poultry seasoning, a couple of boxes of uh, cornbread stuffing mix, going to need a stick of butter, and tonight for the, for the recipe itself, uh, take this away and that's pretty much all you need for this recipe but I like to add shit to it so tonight I'm going to add a bag of this uh, JB Trinity here thanks JB, that's this rocks man and I'm going to throw a bag of uh, mixed vegetables in there cook all this shit up, bake it off and uh, so let me get this chicken washed up in a pan and I'll show you what I'm going to do next Okay, uh, I got one chicken titty in there. It's a pound and a half. Look at the size of that honker. I get this at the fresh market, and you can see this is a uh, cut off the chicken. This ain't no regular frozen uh, bag of uh, shit that you buy. And uh, their chickens there ain't got no chemicals and additives and shit like that in it. And it's good chicken. And so what I got to do now is I got to bring this to a boil, and I got to boil it for uh, bring it to a boil. And simmer it for about 20 minutes and turn it off, let it cool. And uh, then I'll cut it up then. And uh, I'm going to saute these veggies down here in a minute, this Trinity blend. Uh, right, I'm going to give a few shout outs here tonight. Uh, Y'all know our lives down here changed last month. And uh, it's been fucked up, man. Uh, But I'd like to thank a couple of people. Uh, let's start with uh, Moonshine and Troy. Hey, thanks, guys. You guys rock. Uh, Tango Joe, uh, you want to stand up, dude, dude. Uh, I can't say enough about Tango Joe. Uh, Russ up there at Smokes are Rolling, uh, thanks for coming down the other day, man, and partying with us. We had a great time. and. Uh, Hope to do that again this soon, uh, this summer, man. Hey, that, that, was, that was cool. We'll make us a bigger beer tower that night. Oh, man, that was a big one, though. Uh, Greg McCutcheon, thank you. Uh, you've been great, dude. And uh, thanks for letting us come over and bombard your house from time to time. And, uh, Baloney Ring Ranch, I, I can't say enough about this guy. Uh, Jeff, you've been there, man, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Uh, he lives way the hell out in bumfuck Kentucky somewhere, man. I mean, it's hard to get to his place. but It's not that hard to get to his place. <laughs> well, I can get there, but by the time it's time to come home, I'm drunk and asleep, so I can't get back. So somebody's got to bring me back from there. But, uh, yeah, you're all right, dude, and I uh, appreciate what you've done. <laughs> We'll be seeing you guys next week, Greg and Jeff. Well, we'll see you guys next weekend. And uh, I got to cook something good for them. They're going to help Karen put her garden in. This ought to be an exciting day. I'm just glad I don't have to help with the garden. So, uh, Chef Borquet, I want to thank Chef Borquet. He said a few words to me. And uh, to all y'all that's made comments and sent me messages and thoughts and prayers, uh, I appreciate it. We're getting by, day by day, man, so, that's all I want to say, uh, I just want to say thank y'all, uh, Tango Joe, Jeff, Greg, t Roy, Moonshine, man, <laughs> we'll be down there seeing Troy and Moonshine here pretty soon. Yes, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Mudbugs. The Smith Boys. <laughs> no food.
The Smith Boys. Lots of fucking beer. The Smith Boys. We're going to be with the Smith Boys. And down Mad there. Dog. Oh, yeah. We're going to get some Mad Dog in there, too, man. We're going to have a time down there. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know if Moonshine's ready for the party we're having this year. Uh, he don't know how many thousands of people I invited to his place. Where the fuck are they going to park at? There's no parking at Moonshine's. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to have to rent a bus to get all those people into his place. But anyways, that's another story. That'll be another video a couple of months down the road. Let me get this shit going and I'll show you what we're doing. And uh, we'll be back in a few. Okay, there's my chicken titty simmering. I'm going to saute me up some Trinity now. So I'm going to call it from now on. JB Trinity, because he turned me on to this frozen stuff. And uh, boy, it sure saves a lot of time from cutting and chopping. You don't have to worry about your three beer rule. Yeah, that's your damn right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good thing. I'm going to use this whole bag. Put a little olive oil in there. But I don't get no lemons and lunch on this one. There's a red one in the icebox you can eat. I might throw that in there too, I don't know. So, we'll do that and uh, we'll put some uh, fresh crack jack on there. And what I'm thinking about it, I forgot to mention Phil over there at Brewer 65. Need to give him a shout out too. Phil's been alright. Uh, Barbara? Yeah, a couple of people don't do videos. Uh, Barbara over there in Washington, D.C. I guess to say, hey, hey, Barbara. And, uh, oh, God, it'd be fun to see you in Labor Day. And, uh, Norman down there in Mississippi, Norman Johnson. He's a stand up dude. Uh, hopefully, we're going to see him in the spring down there at Moonshine's place. In May! Oh, my God, I can't wait for Baton Rouge. The Red Stick Town, Baton Rouge, Mud Bugs, Yuck, Moon Dog, Mad Dog, Moon Butter, and Moon Butter, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> They're interchangeable. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, me and Terry's excited about this. Uh, we can't wait for this trip, man. We're like I'm what, just so ready for vacation. Fifty days away or something, and. Uh, our dinner rod's over. Well, almost. Got one person left to come in yet. Uh, UVA got their ass whooped today. That sucked. So, basketball's out for keep. And uh, baseball will be starting. It will be spring here sometime. I know Tango Joe, he had his, uh, uh, what you call a... Uh, charcoal fireplace starter thingy he had it out laying in the snow the other day trying to melt all the snow he's got <laughs> so he's forced to spring as much as he can up there so anyways uh, well, springs here just the weather ain't cooperating yet it will be though and, uh, I ain't turning the heat back on so that's okay you ain't here at night when I am so I can we're going to let these veggies saute and let the chicken titty simmer away and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to show what we're going to do next. Okay. Okay, I got my chicken cooked and it's cut up. I cubed it up. I sliced it, sliced it, cubed it up. Chicken's done. Here's my dressing. Here's my soups. I got my trinity, my melted butter. And my chicken uh, water, chicken stock water. So I'm gonna pour some of this in here with the soups, and we're gonna thin this out a bit. whatever you want to call it. Turn that out about a bit. I 
I think just a little bit more. No, that's good. But it's going to be too thin. That's all right. <clears throat> it's a work in progress. I love playing with this recipe. One of these days I'll get it perfected. Okay, you can see that. That's how thin that is now. I'm going to live with that. Now, I'm going to take my butter. One stick of butter I got here. Put that in my dressing. A little bit of the chicken stock. Probably three-fourths of a cup, let's say. Give us a good mix. See what happens. We're going to need more. Hold on, I'll do it. I can't measure when you do it. Fine. Yeah, you need quite a bit more. I bread is dry. I'm going to put another three-fourths of a cup. I'll just keep playing with this. One of these days I'll get it perfected. That's a good thing about this dish, man. You know, even if you do it just the way they say, it's all right. But it's something you can just keep changing. It's an ever-evolving dish. Just keep adding stuff, taking stuff away, doing whatever you want to do with it, play with it. And I think just a touch more. This would be like the most liquid I've ever added to this one. Another quarter cup. We're gonna live with that. Throw them seasonings in there. Set that aside. Take the chicken. And you can do this with chicken fingers if you want. It's just as easy. Oven's hot. But I like this fresh market chicken. So I use that, cut it up in chunks, and that way you get a little bit in every bite. Put that in there. And now I'm going to uh, put my Trinity in here. I've not done this before with the Trinity. This is something new. I just thought it'd work with this. We'll see. This is a dish I really don't think you could screw up if you had to. I mean, it's a pretty forgiving dish. It'll take all kinds of flavors. Put that in there. Done with that. Now I want to put my soup in there. Oh yeah, I gotta do that. Forgot about them. You don't need to add this, but if, if you do this the first time with just the basic stuff and none of this, it almost tastes like a chicken pot pie. And that and that's what made me decide to put the veggie tables in it. To make it even more like a chicken pot pie. Lots of carrots. Spread them about. Yeah, that's a funky ass dish there. And uh, we're, right now we're going to put some uh, pepper in there, some fresh cracked jack. Put a bunch of pepper in there because you're going to have a bunch of shit in here. And uh, poultry seasoning. What the hell? Can't hurt. Yeah, put however much you want. Or don't put none at all. I don't care. Do that. Then we're going to put our soups on there. This is 
pour it all about. Terry wouldn't let me use a dish that I wanted to use. That one was smaller than this one. I think not. I think so. Who's the cook here? You've had a little shimmy shake. That pan ain't big enough. She wouldn't listen. I did it her way. So we're going to spread this dressing about. about. Just use your hands, man. It's just as easy. Plus, you get to feel all this lusciousness of this. Oh, stop. Nice, soft, tender. Would you fix supper? I was fantasizing here for a minute. Well, quit. Yeah, so just lay the dressing about. It really is easier to use your hands than try to use this uh, spoon or something. You need to get something in there around the edge. I still got a half a pound in there. There's something over the dog down there on the floor. So we got a pan full of goodness here. The hell with that. He'll get some of this anyway. So, there we go. Now, I've not done this in the past, but I'm going to do it this time. What? I'm going to cover this with foil. To keep that bread from uh, drying out too much on me. We get my cookie sheet. I don't want this shit leaking in my oven. Let's go in a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and look at it. I'll probably take the foil off then and cook it for another 10 minutes. We'll see. 375 for 45. And we got a uh, timer here. Right here, it says timer. I'm figuring out some of these uh, buttons on the stove. <laughs> Took me a while. Yeah, I was going to say, we've lived here two years and you're first time figuring that out? I'm figuring it out. So, that's what we're doing. That's what I did. One more thing and then I'm done uh, with this. Uh, we did a video last weekend at Karen's. And... Uh, I got a lot of comments, and no, I did not answer any of them. Uh, I appreciate the thoughts and uh, the words. I just couldn't find it in my heart to answer them. So uh, that's why I didn't do it. Uh, I read every one of them, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Uh, I hope you all understand. And uh, with that, I'm done with that subject, and it's time to move on. So when we come back, we're going to show you what we got here. And... Uh, I, I thank you all, and, and I appreciate the hell out of it. So, thanks. That's it. Okay, okay this timer is fixing to go off. It's been in here for 45 minutes. Look, we can cut down the seconds to 45. Fuck that. Steam, watch out. Pull this out. Pull this out, Keith. Alright, just pull this out then. Take this off of here. Look, nothing leaked out. I'll put that back in there. I'll let that go. I'll let that go 10 minutes with the uh, foil off. So 
So I got to go timer off, timer on, and we go 10 minutes. 10, you dumbass. And uh, we'll come back. That's what I did. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to do this. Uh, I've been playing with this recipe. This is the third, that's the third time I've done it. And uh, mostly this video is about me saying thank you to everybody. Uh, your thoughts, prayers, well wishes. Uh, I've said before, man, this YouTube community is a family. And uh, y'all have proven that to me in the last month. And uh, cheers. That's, uh, that's just what I want to say. Thank you, and I appreciate the hell out of it. So, I'm, I'm done with that now. And, uh, you said that go. I know, I know, but I had to say thank you. I, I had to say thank you, and... Uh, me and Karen, we're going we're gonna to be back here rocking and rolling real soon. And uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And I appreciate the hell out of it. So we're going to come back in uh, about nine minutes. And I'll show you what this looks like. We'll give you a taste test. And uh, we'll go from there. Be back. Okay. Okay, we're 35 seconds away from being done. Let me stop this. I don't want to hear this noise when it goes off. So there. In 45 at 375 covered, 10 minutes uncovered, and this is what we got. Steam. Steam, Keith. Steam. And that's what it looks like. Turn this oven off. And, uh, it's dripping out. So I gotta let that set for ten minutes or so before I can cut into it. A bull. Yeah, you can't get into it now. It's too damn hot. It's uh look, it's bubbling and shit. It's like a volcano. It'll burn your mouth. So we'll let that wait ten minutes. Uh this didn't get all dried out and crunchy on me this time, so that's good. And, uh, smells good. We'll see. So, look look down there. You can get the, uh, cream, the, uh, film the creaminess down there. Yeah, let's see. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Too dark. And then we'll back up. Uh, yeah, this is just something I've been playing with. And, uh, and you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Add shit, take shit away, do what you want. Uh, it's a real forgiving dish. Just, uh, Play with it, and that's what I've been doing with it. I've been playing with it. Hell, I watched Greg McCutcheon play with it. Uh, him a bologna boy couldn't fuck it up. I mean, hell. So, anyways, uh, that's what we're doing. We'll come back when we got a plate made, show what we got. Be back in a few. All right. All right, let's make this plate. That's what we got. Let's see what happens. Good. Smells good too. Can you smell it in the living room? There you go. Get you a picture of that. I have to stop. Okay. All right. She's going to stop and take a picture. Okay. Let's see how hot this is. Looks good though. It smells good. We'll see. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. Yeah. J.B. Shrinty adds something to this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This best version yet. I had enough black pepper in it. And uh... 
you know, Trinity really rocks in here. Mmm. This is good, y'all. Really good. So, that's what we did tonight. I made this, and I'm liking this. I'm going to eat this and go to bed because i got to go work in the morning. It's 8.30 now. Oh, shit, it's 20 tonight. It's late. Dog is one to eat. So, that's what we're doing. Um... Uh, Thank you all. I appreciate the thoughts, comments, and all that shit. And, uh, we're going to go eat. I'm going to go to bed. Terry's going to go get this video up or go to the gym. I don't know which. And we're just going to carry on. And, uh, mostly I'm going to go eat and go to bed. This is good. Y'all have a good one. And, uh, Appreciate the hell out of all of you. Thank you. Be back next time.